say what you all want about Mayel, but they have good products. Like them, she her moves. Like them, she her moves. Like them, she her moves. Like Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And welcome if you are new. As you can see, look where we're at. If you've been subscribed to my channel for the past year or at least watching my videos, you would know this location, the bathroom. And the bathroom means that we're going to be doing a wash day vlog. But this time I want to focus it some more on some products that I have been wanting to try. They are a recent purchase. And they are the Mayel Organics Hawaiian and Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner. As you can see, they are full to the brim and unopened, which means I have been waiting to try them for the very first time while creating this video so I can give my first impression slash review. Now my hair is in a very old style and it's very sweaty and smelling terribly <laughs> so we're gonna start with my spray bottle of water and we're just gonna try to rig my fingers through to try to pull out some shed hair to avoid tangles while washing so i like to lightly detangle my hair before shampooing and then i like to fully detangle with conditioner in or deep conditioner so I'm very interested to see how this conditioner works it's not a deep conditioner it's a regular conditioner but I hope it has really good slip and I'm able to like fully detangle my hair Okay, so I'm all done and this is my hair ball so far and this is what my hair is looking like shrunken I just finished this section here but shrunken for the most part so like one way this could be effective for you which is what I was just doing breaking my fingers through is if you if the product that you currently have in your hair has some slip, it would help you to be able to rake your fingers through and also you need to wet it enough. So it needs to be like not completely soaked but like really wet so you can like, you know, work it through there and pull out those shed hairs. But it's about that time I need to get to washing this hair and this scalp. It's itching so bad, so let's get to it. Feeling young, but they treat me like the OG. And they want the tea on me, I swear these bitches nosy. Said he put some money on my head, I guess we gon' see. I won't put no money on it, said my niggas owe me. I gotta be single for a while, you can't control me. Uno dos traits in a race, they can't hold me. And I show my face in a case, so you know it's me. Imitation isn't flattery, it's just annoying me. And I'm too about it. And the dirt that they do on my name turn the soil, and I grew up about it. Time for y'all to figure out what y'all gon' do about it. Big wheels keep rolling, rolling. I'm outside, 29, G5. Seaside, I've been losing friends and finding peace. But well, honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. If I ever heard one, and I'm still here outside, front line, south side. I've been losing friends and finding peace. Honestly, that sound like a fair trade to me. Look, don't invite me over if you throw another pity party. Looking back, it's hard to tell you where I started I don't know who love me, but I know that it ain't everybody I can never love to see a busybody Baby, if you want me, can't be turning up with everybody Nah, can't be fucking on this anybody Yeah, I got feelings for you, that's the thing about it 
yeah, you know that it's something when I sing about it, yeah, mama used to be on disability, but gave me this ability, and now she walking with her head high and her back straight, I don't think you feeling me, I'm out here, being everything they said I wouldn't be, a couldn't be, I don't know what happened to them guys that said they would be, I said see you at the top and they misunderstood me, I hold no resentment in my heart, that's that maturity, and we don't keep it on us anymore, it's with security. So I'm out the shower. Let me give you my tortoness shampoo one time. So this is how much I used for the wash. Mind you, I was very heavy handed with product with this wash. So I could have used less and you see the size of this bottle. So this is gonna last me a couple of wash days well moving forward. So for first impressions, the first thing I noticed with this product is the lather. It has a really, really good lather. It lathered really well. Like I would put two to three pumps of product on my hair and the pumps, when they're coming out, they're not very big and I would get so much lather, but I was putting a lot because my hair was very dirty. My scalp was almost on fire, so you know first time using it i wanted to make sure that my scalp was really clean so the next thing is you know i lightly detangled my hair before which helped but the product i wouldn't say it has a lot of slip it has a good enough slip where you can manage to work the shampoo through your hair really well now let's see how it feels This is how it's looking. I was feeling, like after I washed it out, I was feeling my curl pattern and my curls popping. Like, look at that. This is advertised as a moisturizing shampoo from the Moisture RX line. But I will say that the moisture level that my hair feels right now is pretty like normal it the moisture is not like astonishing or like amazing it's regular but i would say so far that this is a really good shampoo i would give it a solid eight out of ten and i'm definitely going to be using it i'm using out the bottle because i bought it i mean come on but yeah it's a really good shampoo oh and for my scalp my scalp feels really clean you all know i use the scalp scrubber thing because i need to make sure i get in there but the product work really well to get my scalp clean and nice so yeah i would recommend it but just know it's not like super moisturizing just regular moisture level so yeah solid 8 out of 10. so now let's move on to the Hawaiian and ginger conditioner. Now y'all know I don't use regular conditioner like that, like rinse out conditioner. I use deep conditioner. So I go from shampoo to deep conditioner. But I really wanted to try this conditioner because I heard good reviews. I heard and seen good reviews about it. But I'm going to be using it as a deep conditioner. And by that I mean I'm going to be applying it to my hair and maybe leaving it on for like an hour. Ooh, thick. Oh, and also the smell on the shampoo. I have the hair butter and leave-in conditioner to this line. And the Hawaiian ginger scent is very strong. On the shampoo, the scent is not that strong. And on the conditioner, I don't feel like the scent is as strong either. But yeah, this is how it's looking. It's pretty thick.
Truck to the plane, to the truck Truck to the hotel lobby Me, I go through underground garages Presidential suite on the closet Elevator up to the room Shower up and then we hit the club Touchdown, gotta see what's up Area code in my my hair is drenched in conditioner. <laughs> this is what it's looking like. So far, it's feeling really good. This is how much product I use. Again, you all, I'm heavy handed. I also have a lot of hair. Well, my hair is very dense and thick to the front. So this part takes up a lot of product. But I think it's not bad. Like about right here. Like I said, I'm gonna leave this in for about an hour and then wash it out and come back and tell you what it's given. So I just washed out all of the conditioner out of my hair. And this is what my hair is looking like. Fresh out of the shower, soaking wet. Okay, so first impressions on this product. This, like I said earlier, the scent is not as strong, just like the shampoo, which I can appreciate, but it still smells nice. It's also very thick and it has some slip so I was able to like use the comb and detangle some sections of my hair so it's good on slip and after leaving it in my hair for like an hour my hair feels really nice I'm I will say it doesn't feel like as soft as if I use an actual deep conditioner but like it feels pretty good and you can tell that it's hydrated by the way it's looking and how the curls are clumping together yeah so i think i would give this conditioner a solid like 9 out of 10 so 8 out of 10 for the shampoo 9 out of 10 for the conditioner the conditioner is good you'll see my little line here <laughs> from the plastic bag that was on my head that will go away in a while, but yeah, my hair feels real, really, really, really nice. Say what y'all want about my hair, but they have good products. And I am sorry, I am going to continue to purchase them and try them out. Thank you so much for watching this video and coming along for like the first half of my wash day with me. Oh, by the way, we recently hit 500 subscribers. That's good. Like, imagine 500 people in a room with me right now. Like, I appreciate each and every one of you. All of you who watch my videos, like, comment, subscribe, share. Let me know if you have tried the Hawaiian Ginger Shampoo and Conditioner. Or let me know if this video motivated you to like, go and pick it up and try it yourself. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. We are on the road to 1K subscribers. And we're halfway there, so we're making progress. See you next time.